why digital dentures? So I'll give you some convincing of why I think digital dentures are the way to go right now. So why digital dentures? Faster completion time. If we need to do a rush case, a quick case, we literally could do a denture complete in a few hours with this technology. It's amazing how fast that we can make these bases, print these teeth and assemble these things. Um, so where we had before we had stone setting time, we had processing time, we had acrylic processing time, lots of things we had to wait for. We don't have to wait for too much anymore. We can print teeth, print the base, print teeth, insert teeth all at one time, very quick. One of the biggest advantages for all of you is less appointments. In many cases, we are suggesting to skip the setup phase. Um, but these technology that we have today, the positioning of the teeth and how we do it is so much more accurate than what we had before that we're able to skip appointments, uh, less resets or no resets, um, and also lower cost. Um, this technology is lower cost. Our digital dentures are less expensive than our conventional dentures, and we can pass that cost over to you. And let's face it, um, a lot of our, our clients are, do a premium job, and they work with patients that want the best possible denture they can. But you know, in the United States of America and in the world, dentures are an economy prosthetic. I mean, most people have dentures because they didn't have money to take care of their teeth for a lot of their lives, and they're um, and they need an inexpensive denture. We can do inexpensive dentures with this technology and you can be profitable, the lab can be profitable, and the patient can have a great product that's superior to some cheap denture made you know, offshore or with not a little attention to detail uh, because they had to get it done quickly using conventional methods. And the only way to do it quickly was to you know, not care as much about the case. So we can definitely lower the cost. Every time we do a digital denture, we have that record at any point someone can say, give me another one of those. We can produce exactly what we did before uh, and give it right back to you. So almost any fully edentulous case, it's a good candidate for. Uh, digital partial dentures is still, I think that method, method, at least for the next 12 months, will be done conventionally. Though we can do the teeth, it makes a lot of sense to do conventional uh, par partial dentures with setting wax at this point. Uh, I think they're attractive. They're very nice looking cases. Um, you know, We can characterize and do things, things to them. Um, I think that you can make a conventional denture look slightly better than a digital denture. But again, this is all in the, the creativity of the person doing the work. And they're strong. And that's the big factor. Two years ago, there was a strength issue with digital dentures. So you, we use them for economy and, and more significantly immediate load backup denture. They're only going to be temporary. Now, uh, today, uh, with changing technology and materials, they are strong enough. So how is it better? And, and bottom line, it's, it's a computer software that makes it better. Um, just like an architect uses a computer instead of a drafting board, we still need people that know dental technology. We still need people that know how teeth should be and have some artistic flair to it. But a lot of the monotonous work of getting the teeth position, positioned are all taken care of with the software. We can set teeth much, much quicker. We can balance them much better. And it's using the landmarks of the patient um, to position those teeth ideally. We, for a long time, Roe was an advocate of uh, Staub cranial dentures, which it was a method based on Carl Heinz Staub that basically took anatomical landmarks and allowed us to position teeth in an arch just from the anatomical landmarks on the model and give those the doctor back a setup right from, right from initial bite records. We actually would do a upper setup with a lower bite record was our go-to uh, situation with these. And we had a lot of good success and we were raving fans of this technique because use science to position teeth as opposed to a technician opinion. But it basically uses anatomical landmarks to determine where the teeth should go. Just like the success we had 10 years ago with this mathematical calculations we made. So in fact, we're having so much success with digital dentures that this is the, the protocol we're using now is the Densupply Carbon, which we feel is the best system to go with. They recommend a, a printed try-in of these cases. We can do that, but in our experience, doing thousands of digital dentures at this point, we kind of are sitting back and saying, gosh, so many of these cases have come back from the try-in and doctors say, finish them, go to finish, everything's perfect. We've done um, thousands of these cases on guided surgery cases where the teeth are in the right position. That we're suggesting at this point, you know, why do the try-in? Why take up your time? Um, why, why take up the patient's time? So we're recommending at this point, skipping the try-in phase and not having a try-in.
give us great preliminary impressions, spend a lot of time at the bite record, not too much more time than you normally spend, but we definitely want a picture with some markings and really think about the bite record and we go right to finish. And if it doesn't work out, we have a great solution for that we call a reverse reset. So that's right, what I'm suggesting is take impressions, take a great bite rim with a picture, with the bite rim in place, with markings of midline in your opinion, high smile line, uh, angle of the cuspids, you can use a Sharpie, you can use a, you know, a, a wax knife, and then we send you a finished case back. So what does this do for you? Number one, it, it lowers the lab cost. It also saves money with reducing resets and it saves the patient money and gas money and time off away, away from work, less resets or no resets and less appointments. So this typically can be done in three or two appointments, depending on if you do the bite rims in your office or not. And we're having great success with this with lots of cases.